mind and everything. So we're going to watch it once, get a feel for what happened, and then I'll go over stuff on the second run through. That was close. That's a downer. Oh man, even little England does the scrub side B. Why is everyone scrub side B there, dude? Nice. Well, oh, use your jump really early. Nice, that was really good by him. I think you were kind of screwed there, to be honest. Oh wow, nice air dodge. That was a really good air dodge. That was some hyper level tricky. You've only met horrible people, dude. That's terrible, man. I I I assure you, not not everyone that's smashing me is terrible. I know you know this, but yeah. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, whoa, that was scary. Hmm. Low England is pretty good, man. This guy is pretty good. I think Dia, I noticed this before too, but you're really slow out of shield. Uh, you always kind of kind of freeze up and then just either roll or shield grab or something. It's it's, uh, it's not easy to break, but it's definitely so it's so much more important against Falco than it is against anybody else. All right, I play Falco and I literally never air dodge or spot dodge on purpose in any matchup. How important is it to add to my gameplay? Uh, Major look, I think it's actually really really important. Um, it's really important because spot dodging is a bad habit, and it's good that you haven't started by spamming spot dodge, but it's really fast. Uh, you can spot dodge shine a lot of things. So um, it's just uh, it's something you do want to work in sometimes just to throw people off. It also is pretty good to just buffer spot dodge to avoid grabs if you know they're going for grabs a lot. Yo, what's up, Ice Cream? It's good seeing you again, man. <laughs> I saw you uh, at JJ's and stuff. That's pretty cool. I'll probably see you at Mayhem too. So, what's up, man? Um, air dodge is important for recovery. Uh, sometimes it's just really good to air dodge just to recover from the ledge. Like, double jump air dodge back onto stage. Um, it's not the greatest thing of all time, but it's like, it's pretty good. Should I kind of look at the frame data to theorycraft what's spot dodgeable? I would not. Uh, I mean, well, okay. I, it's not that I wouldn't. Um, you're. Um, you're perfectly like gonna. You're just gonna learn a lot by doing that. All right. There's nothing wrong with it. But oh, yo, what's up, Jackson Lawson, man? Thank you for the follow, dude. Appreciate that a lot. Um, but it's just like you just spot dodge. You basically spot dodge when people try to grab. I think that's the most basic thing. Is when people try to grab you, you spot dodge. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ice cream. Do I wave land as Falco? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Waveland is pretty good. There's not a lot in Tennessee. Uh, K-Dog, that sounds really familiar. I feel like someone else is trying to get stuff started in Tennessee. But anyway. Yeah, I think if you just shielded and then fared out of shield really fast, that would definitely be something uh, that would help your game a lot. You also like to double jump high a lot. I think you could just get the ledge for free a lot, but that's okay. Oh, a little flub on the combo there. 
Dude, Lil Anglin's pretty smart. Actually, old school players, man. Old school players are just good, dude. He could definitely hit you. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's watch this again, Dia. Um, 116. So that's one, uh, two minutes, four, like 156-ish. Yeah, here we go. We... Okay. Wait, when did you play Little England, dude? Is he here? Is he in town? Because that would be sick. Mid-tier matchups is Marth. Dude, a lot of Marth matchups are... A lot of mid-tiers get beaten by Marth down tilt. Like, just straight up just get beaten by his down tilt. It's true. He lives in Claremont? Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, I want to say hi, man. Okay, so, yeah, here... Um, I think you need to be more willing to chase down the Falco. You don't have to do this. But I really like doing it. Um, I just like go on and like either short hop forward air or like even just nair at them if I know they're gonna forward if they're gonna like laser. Um, it just hits them out of the laser, and usually they're not like like what are they gonna do to block this move, right? Um, they could down air you like before you even get there. But a lot of falcos don't just down air in place when you're in neutral. Um, only like the really good ones do. So, dude, Marth detail is broken, dude. It's so good. Yeah, they're they're super good. Um you could also like run up and shield. That's also another thing you can do is like run up shield. Um I don't know about you, but I I'm really like the timing of run up power shield. Like for some reason with Sheik, if I just or with Marth with any character, if I run up a uh, power shield when right when they um right when they laser, then it's like a power shield grab or power shield like Nair as Fox or like power shield whatever you want, dude. Uh Yangi Yes, I will be streaming again this one. Oh, uh, wait. There is Umba this Wednesday. Dang it. Um, you know what I might do, Yangi? I might just stream tomorrow. I might either... Sh I might just straight up stream tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I I'm, we'll probably be going to a tournament on Wednesday. So, um, watch out for that. I will post it on Twitter. So, yeah. Someone deleted your fat Goku Wikipedia page? Why would they delete it, dude? That was the best one. It's jacked up, dude. Okay, but yeah, uh, a big way to hit Falco is just to just to hit him out of the lasers, basically. But anyway, he got that's a really good mind game there. I like what you did here. I think also another thing is you're going for like too many grabs. You're either going for the grab when the opportunity is not really there, or you're a little bit late on the grab and he spot dodges or like shines it. I think. Um, it's kind of hard to do. Like, when in this situation, when you're wave dash dancing back and forth under this platform, I would actually just, like, like uh, instead of dash dancing to grab, I would do a turnaround shield stop and then, like, fair or something like that. So then, like, if he does hit me do with an attack, I shield it and then I can hit him out. Or if he doesn't, then I, I'm still, like, in perfect fair range. Um, that's something you could do. Dude, Fat Goku. Fat Goku's sick, man. Yeah, also, you always double jump really high with your recovery. Um, I'm not sure um, if you're scared. Maybe he's hitting you off, off stage when you're trying to double jump to the ledge. But I'm pretty sure, like, if it was me, I would just get this free double jump back to the ledge, like, all the time. Um, he kind of just gives it to you if he's on stage. So, yeah, going high, like, if you get hit up here, like, you have no jump when you're trying to recover, and then you're... you're uh, uh, your recovery is like super linear like there's like nowhere you can go so I actually just prefer to grab the ledge but I mean yeah if you can make it on stage without you know having to grab the ledge it's better but it's just really risky yeah see how you went super high instead of double jumping here you could have just side beat and dropped and then use your double jump to pressure him because actually okay Mars recovery the best way to use Mars recovery is to be in this like uh, let me show you here Helen, can you press start? No Never mind. It's over here. Sir, 
Dude, I don't even remember the story. Like, I know it was something about, like, he puts his left shoe on first or something. Or he puts his left sock on first. It was pretty funny. <laughs> but, but yeah. Okay, so, when you're just hovering around this, this area, like, this is when Marth's recovery is the most dangerous. Because at any given time, he could either swipe you with a sword or up you. So the longer you sit there, if you just sit in this area for, like, a super long time, like, they are forced to just get off this level. Like, eventually, they have to get off this ledge, you know? So, instead of jumping, like, way up here and trying to get on, and, like, like if you are going to get on here, you'd have to, like, air dodge to avoid their back air or something like that. But if you just stick right around here, it's, like, you could, like, fare at any time. Like, I don't know. It's a lot more, um, it's a lot more threatening, basically. Whose sexy feet are those in the background? It's Kellen's, dude. <laughs> Kellen's just watching E3 or something. I don't know. Yeah. Dude, the story was just basically Fat Goku's like, yo, for my Wikipedia page, just put on Fat Goku is a smasher from Washington who puts his left sock on first. Like, I don't know. It was random, dude. But it was just really funny that someone put it in the wiki, and that was boob for days. Kellen's feet, dude. Craigasm. That's a down air. 120% a down air, by the way. A lot of people just, uh, they, uh, oh shit. I'm not watching the right thing. Okay, my bad. Um, this thing, okay, I'll try to go back a little bit. I'm not, usually don't do it, but. See, I just don't jump super high. Here, this is a down air. Um, yeah, ice cream. It was ice cream, dude. Ice cream was asking a lot of random questions, dude. One of them was, which sock do you put on first? So. K dog, how do you wave dash onto the ledge? You just you just wave dash. Uh, do you know how to wave dash? If you know how to wave dash, that's the same thing. Or are you trying to wave dash onto the stage from the ledge? That's uh, a little different, but dude, it's funny, man. I actually love the 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 dumb questions, the random questions. I love that stuff. Uh, yeah, people, I don't know why Mars always try to back air, dude. Like, you can just get the downer. Just go for it. And friendly, just go for it a lot. And eventually, it'll just start working. Also, this side B is such a scrubby side B. I hate when people side B like this. But in that situation, you're already back airing. So you, you couldn't really. But, but yeah. <laughs> ice cream. Dude, yeah. Like, you should. what ice cream you should do is you should ask every streamer what they get at Chipotle. And then make a document so that people can see everything that they get. And then we can make comparisons for their play style and character and uh, stuff. What's the best way to get back on stage from ledge with Marth? Um, these options. My opinion, these are the best options. One, like aerial. Uh, Nair can be crouch canceled, so you might want to do that too much. But you can do like this. Like sometimes you can do like, like hold this for like a really long time and do this really late. Sometimes you do it early, you know. Sometimes you do it like really far on. It just depends on what what they're doing and stuff like that. The other thing is just stand up. Mars regular stand up. I'm pretty sure has two frames of 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 vulnerability. Like it's just it's actually really fast. Um, before you can shield, I mean. So actually, Mars stand up is not that bad. If you watch Ken Ken videos, he actually does it a lot and he does it pretty well. So his his uh that is pretty good. Obviously, let Waveland's pretty good. You can do like Waveland up till. Um, some Mars really like like Waveland roll like this. In this case, you kind of do like a sharper Waveland. You wouldn't do like a Waveland that goes all the way over. Oh my goodness! You wouldn't do a Waveland that goes all the way over here. You would kind of do like a short Waveland like this, just so you can act faster. Um, well, I don't know if you'd really act faster, but yeah. If you get a perfect weight ledge dash, you can actually be really invincible for your up tilt. Um, sometimes you just go up and shield. But I don't like shielding very much. Shields is kind of dangerous. But yeah, sometimes if you get like a really good laser dash, you can just shield in time. Like I've gone through four smashes with it. Um, burrito bowl plus tortilla on the side. Dude, that is the meta, man. You, that is definitely the meta. You get so much, dude. Um, the other thing is with Marth is... Okay, so when enemy Marth or something, if they're standing here and poking you like from really far away... Well, this is... But like, like here... What's actually really good against this is you just ledge hop like this. You like ledge hop, wave dash down, and forward smash. This works a lot in Ditto's, dude. If you've ever played like Psycho Midget, which you have and you body him, but Psycho Midget does this really well against me. He just wave dashes down a lot and it just avoids a lot of stuff. That's pretty good. Um, the only other thing is to like 
You could like do this, the ledge hop side neutral B. This is really technical. Oh my god, I did it. I actually did it. Okay, that's really hard, and I'm bad, really bad at it. I've never practiced it. But that's another thing you can do. So I think those are the best uh, Marth stuff for the most part. His, his, Marth, his game is really tricky because he actually is not that good on the ledge. It's actually really scary to be on the ledge with Marth. So it's it's difficult, but yeah. Marth's the best arch guarder in the game? Maybe. But I actually think Fox is the best arch guarder in the game. In my opinion. Maybe Sheik. Maybe Sheik. But Fox is pretty darn good at edge guarding. You've asked every person in the foundry? Yeah, well, I don't know. You cannot fight a TAS, but what you can do, Common Rider, is you can have 20XX characters like do stuff preemptively. Who is the longest? Who is the shortest wave dash? The longest is wait, Luigi by far. Oh. Okay. When letting go, is it better to press down or back? I press back for 90% of stuff, but there are techniques where I press down. For example, Sheik's Shino stall, I press down. Uh, for Falco double laser from the ledge, I press down. Stuff like that. But almost always, I press back. Oh, also for for Samus, if you're ledge hopping with Samus on this stage and you press back and you go try to go forward, you're going to hit the thing and die. So you have to press, like, press back. Well, you could press back, actually. But, like, you could press down and, like, barely come up. Yeah, the pressing down causes accidental fast falls, so you don't always want to do that. Uh, okay, back to this match real quick. There, that's an up air. Anytime they're above you too, you can do uh, up air if they keep like double jumping over you and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, mix. I, you're out of shield game when I play you is kind of uh, simple. You almost always roll or or try to shield grab or something like that. Um, the other options I would definitely do, especially against Falco, is short hop fair out of shield. Short hop fair out of shield is like amazing. Um, if you watch like my Falco shield pressure tutorial, the very basics, not the intermediate one, but the basics, it's actually, uh, it actually just beats a lot of their pressure if you do it correctly. Like just, I think a lot of your shield games kind of, um, I think you just don't understand it actually. So if you watch that, the shield pressure thing, I guarantee it'll help you beat Falcos. Like I guarantee, even though it's a, uh, a, a video for Falcos, it'll help you beat them. Um, so yeah. Fair out of shield, that's super, super good. Sure, fair out of shield. And the other one you want to do a lot is wave dash out of shield. So, like, a lot of times uh, when Falco's shine, right after the shine, you wave dash away forward smash, and you hit them, like, all the time, dude. It's so, it's so broken. Um, it's not broken, but, like, it's, like, pretty good, you know, to do, like, a couple times. So, yeah, uh, look out for those two. The, that, that, sh that full hop back air, even if it was, okay, short hop back air fade away is actually pretty good. But it doesn't really lead to anything. It's just kind of like a get out of there thing. But you can actually start combos off of stuff, I think. So, I mean, it's it's uh it's not bad as things as far as things go. But it's it's not that fast either. So yeah. Tips for getting out of Sheik's chain grab. Uh, ambiguous di. It's all ambiguous di. Um, I I'm pretty sure I talked about that in the video. But yeah, just ambiguous di is the best for getting out of any chain grab, pretty much. Almost any chain grab. That was a really good recovery. I think I honestly think uh, mix like Nair Nair on stage has its merits. It definitely can be crouch canceled, but like see how he like shielded there. You can like you can like uh, Nair and it'll auto cancel if you let top Nair, and you can like buffer spot dodge or roll, and then you just get out of stuff. You get back on stage. I do that sometimes, so. Yeah, see, okay, you see how you jumped up here? Instead, I would drop down to here and keep side being, and then double jump, like, around here. Because he's going to be like, oh, man, he's going to fear me with his double jump, you know? So he's going to get up, and then you just grab the ledge for free. Um, yeah. And if he, if you think he's going to, like, try and back air you, you can drop real low and then up to the ledge. And it'll interrupt him. Like, it'll barely nick him on your way up, because he just, like, dropped down and tried to back air you. Um, yeah, it's just better to stay in this kind of area for the most part. The only way it's dangerous is if they're Fox and you're, like, right below them. That's dangerous. But even so, you want to just stay within this, like, threatening range as long as possible so they get off of it. This was good. I like how you read both those both those double jumps except he air dodges, which is a really good air dodge. Hmm. Yeah. This is super good. Obviously, grab ledge is better, but whatever. He was so dead. Uh, 
Yeah. Um, there, that could either be... I like the light shield, actually. That's a really good light shield. Um, the jumping from here is fine. I like wave dashing off or, like, shield drop. I love shield dropping a lot, but, I mean, you got out of it fine, so it's pretty okay. Oh, when you get up thrown, you can smash yeah, each of these lasers away. Uh, I don't know if you were here for the part of the stream where I talked about that, but... When I go like this, I move this to the side, and then I just wiggle it up and down. So, like, for each laser that I hit, I'm, like, wiggling it like this. And I, the character just goes like this. I think it's more pronounced on Sheik. Like, some certain characters are more pronounced. But on Marth, you could, like, go like this when every time you get hit by the up throw laser. And you can smash the it away and then never get up throw comboed again. It's pretty amazing. That was really good, except you should have gotten the up tilt after. But that's okay. Let's just miss L cancel. Yeah, see here, that was a free grab that again, but uh, I think you knew that. Oh my god, that was sick. Yeah, see, okay. Okay, so let me explain to you. Uh, oh, shoot, I can't rewind. But basically, he did drop down, shine, wave dash, shine, nair, right? So here's where you could have hit him. After the first shine, you could have waved out, you could have rolled out, or you could have fared out of him out of it, or you can actually shield grab him after the shine. If you shine wave dashes, you can shield grab him out of it. Um, you could have wave dash backwards to like up tilt or wave dash backwards to force smash. That would have hit him too. Um, or wave dash or away this way and you'll get out. Um, yeah. And then he does shine nair, shine instant nair. And his nair is early. So you can actually wave dash out be t before that nair reaches the ground and he shines again. Um, yeah, it's basically all early aerials or late aerials. It's like the big mix up basically. Oh, another thing you can do, I, I really think counter is a good uh, a good option. Obviously, you can't spam it because then you're going to get punished really hard. But when you know he's coming in, just uh, do like a, from shield, you can do like a, a instant jump down B and it'll hit him out of the laser. And it'll hit him away. You can get a tech chase situation. Or at the very least, relief pressure. At the very least, he now has to guess whether you're going to counter when he goes in. At the very least, he has to be a little more hesitant. K dog, that is actually hilarious. <clears throat> I think you could have side bead there and gotten the ledge and not had to um, uh, air dodge, but I'd have to see it one more time to make sure. I would have side bead, but. Yeah, after that, that up air here, I would have done a second up air. Uh, you didn't quite fast fall it, I think, but if you did like another fast fall up tilt, um, like fast up air, fast fall, up tilt. It might have caught him as he fell off. Um, most likely, he would shield it and then shield drop back air you, though. So I guess it's better just to dash dance under it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just basically the neutral is a lot harder for you because you're always just shielding or, like, backing up or something. And it is kind of hard for Marth because he doesn't have a good way to go over stuff. And he can't, like, duck under it. He can't, like, short hop over lasers or anything. But, um, yeah. Oh, another thing is when you get lasered, you can get lasered and shield and then wave dash backwards. So then he'll try to like down air you or, or something like that. Short hop down air at you. And, uh, you'll like be able to get out of the way and then grab him or something like that. Another thing you can do is get hit by the laser on purpose and then dash dance away. Um, you, it, they don't have a lot of hits on. You can almost instantly dash sometimes. So... Yeah, made you look. Yeah. Um basically in the Falco neutral part 3 uh it's going to be about hitting people who jump a lot. So the number one thing is using up tilt. Like turn around up tilt super good. You can also up air, but you have to up air kind of early, like preemptively to do it. Um the other thing is to just full hop down air or full hop near. If they're like going on the top platform a lot, you can just go hit them out of it. Um, you can use lasers to hit him out of this stuff, but I kind of already went over that. And the last thing is to just simply stay out of the way and laser them as they fall down. Because, like, say they jump and double jump, they, like, where's my camera? They jump and then they double jump and then they're coming back down. If you laser them right before they hit the ground again, they, like, get, um, they get, like, stuck for a little bit. You can do, like... You can do like laser F smash, you can do like laser grab, you do laser nair. A lot of stuff works if you laser them right before they hit the ground. So, yeah. 
Yeah, see, again, you kind of side B high. That just gets you hit instead of just landing here. Yeah, that crowd cancel sucks, dude. I hate that stuff. But that's uh in that situation, if they are crouch canceling right in front of there, then just ledge hop fair and then re grab ledge. Like don't ledge hop fair back onto the stage, just ledge hop fair, re grab ledge. Um I used to play a ton of Falco, man. I actually tried to main Falco for a while, but I still play Falco. I was playing against Kellen earlier. I'll probably play some later today. But but yeah, I play a lot of Falco. There again. I think instead of the back air, it would have been better to pivot uh, forward air. Or, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a pivot. But, like, basically, like, forward air um, off the stage. It just kind of continues better than, like, a full hop back air. Sokka. Uh, no, dude. I'm not going to be your BFF. I have way too many BFFs. I don't even like BFFs. I don't want any BFFs, dude. This is really good. That's textbook, you know, jab up you. So. Sokka, I haven't even seen you at tournaments, man. How are we going to be BFFs, BFFs if you can't even go to the tournaments? I'm going to, man. This is good, but I don't know why you don't up throw. Especially when you get into the middle of the stage. Shouldn't that just be up throws? I think it's fine. Um, I don't know. Yeah, see here? You can uh, short hop like forward air, up air to get up there. Ice cream, ice cream. Can I be your BFF? Uh, man, I just told I just I just told Sokka that I don't want any BFFs. So if I tell you, if I tell you that I'm gonna be your BFF, how do you think he's gonna feel, man? How do you think he's gonna feel? He's not gonna feel very good. No, I, I don't like KBBQ. Uh, I mean I like it, but people in Irvine go way too much, and I I can't I I need like a six month break at least from KBBQ, dude. Yeah, okay, see, after that, he did, like, laser nair at you. You could have forward air out of shield between the laser and the nair. Like, basically, between every laser, he is vulnerable, dude. Even if he does a second laser, he's still vulnerable. So you can, like, always hit him. Just look out for that. Uh, SNF, probably not. Probably not going to be at CEO. Um, man, that should be a donation goal. But it's it's probably way too soon. I'd have to get, like, a flight and everything. I don't think I'm going to CEO. Man, I think it's kind of too late. So... I don't know, man. Maybe if everyone donates, but but no, I'm not saying you guys should donate. It's just it's it's probably just too soon. I mean, I decided it was either CEO or FC. Um, I found a cheap flight to FC. I probably should have picked CEO instead. I'll be honest, I probably should have picked CEO, but I'm going to FC, so so whatever, man. Also, yeah, a lot of these aerials, like a lot of times, you're doing the right move, but it's just not quite far enough. You know, it's not, it's not quite hitting them or it's just a little too far away or if it's like it's like too close to them or something um that's just a spacing thing like just knowing where they're going to be because you don't know exactly where he's going to be right but but yeah i think maybe you're just playing a little too scared of him or something like that oh yeah see here again you get on the ledge for free i mean this is just asking to get hit for free so nice yeah, see, just barely, the fair is barely out of the way. Nice, except that was a down air, but I don't know. A little tough. Yeah, see, laser, okay, laser forward tilt's actually just hard to get around. I think you just have to come up with a counter. That's, like, the only way to beat that one, but, yeah. That was good. I'm pretty sure he could have hit you anyway, but, yeah. That was a rough spot, so... There's yours, Mix. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. But, yeah.